Hi, and welcome to today's Autodesk Eagle tutorial. You'll learn how to define your board outline for Autodesk Eagle from an enclosure in Fusion 360. In this example, I need to define a plane that will be offset from the actual enclosure surface. To do this, I will click on Construct, Offset Plane, and select the upper part of the standoff. For this example, I will not raise the offset because I want the PCB to actually rest on it. The PCB outline needs to be defined by a sketch. I'm going to use the bottom portion of this enclosure to define my PCB outline. Click on the sketch command and select the offset plane that was created a few moments ago. Now, click on the down arrow of the sketch menu and select the option called Project Include. From here, we'll use the Project option. I will now select the bottom of my enclosure and select OK. There are additional assets that are being projected to my plane. I don't need them, so before finishing the sketch, I'll proceed to delete them. Next, I want to scale down the sketch by using the Offset command on the toolbar menu. This will give us some space to place the board inside the enclosure. I would like to have the holes from these standoffs on the PCB. To do this, I'll use the sketch project option one more time to define these holes on my sketch. Click on finish sketch to complete your outline. Click on the Create Drop menu and select the option Create PCB. We're almost done, just a few more steps to go. With this command active, I will select the sketch that will become my board outline. Now click on the PCB Profile button located on the PCB toolbar. With the profile selected, it's time to define an origin for the PCB. This will be the origin of the board in Eagle. We strongly recommend using the bottom left corner of the PCB. This will place your outline on the positive quadrant of the PCB workspace in Eagle. Use the reorient option to define your X axis. Click OK to finish your PCB profile. Well done. Your PCB outline is now completed. We're going to go ahead and click on Finish PCB and save it. That way we can now import this outline into Eagle. Now that we've completed the PCB outline based on the enclosure, I'm going to go ahead and import that into Eagle. From the Eagle control panel, I'll create a brand new project. I'll name my project. And with my project created, I'm going to go ahead and create a brand new schematic. From that schematic, I'll create a PCB. PCB loads automatically with a default outline. I could either delete it or just import the outline that we created in Fusion. I'll click on the Fusion 360 Flyaway menu. For this case, I actually want to use an existing design in Fusion 360. I'll get a list of all the projects that I've been working on. I'll expand the project that contains the PCB outline that I wish to import. I'll go ahead and select it and click OK. From the Sync to Fusion 360 dialog box, go ahead and select the option Pull from Fusion 360. After a few minutes, the outline defined in Fusion 360 will appear in Eagle. Please notice that the origin of this outline matches the origin that we define in Fusion 360. Thank you for joining us and have a great day.